Hello everyone. This topic is connecting with the artificial sun and especially it is a China based artificial sun. As in the recent past, it was a news like China made successful an artificial sun experiment. And to make this experiment successful, China has made one of the reactor. The name of reactor is the East. Is at as it abbreviate as experimental advanced superconducting tokamak. Actually, tokamak, you know, it is a kind of Japanese term. And the meaning of tokamak is an artificial sun experiment reactor. Your all I can tell you guys it is a kind of fusion reactor. So tokamak is a kind of fusion reactor. But again I repeat this is a Japanese term. So anywhere in the newspaper article tokamak kind of terms are coming anywhere. People always remember it is a meaning of fusion reactor. So it's a kind of fusion reactor. Those uh, name of reactor is the East. China has done even make the all the nuclear fusion experiment in the control manner as successfully in this reactor. So this is the whole entire lesson, lesson number 27 of science and tech. As you all people are listing my all the entire courses on the Purvanchal IS app. So my name is Dr. Ravi Agrahi and you all guys are listening on Purvanchal IS online platform as my director of Purvanchal IS institution Gorakhpur. I am taking your classes from last 18 years, 1000 plus selection already happened under my guidance in civil service examinations. Two book of mine published on the Migra Hill platform that is highly recommended book to all of you. The one is on science and tech and second is on environment. It is a highly selling book in India and highly successful book also. Where many of the platforms the people are saying the question directly came from these two books. So don't miss to read this book guys. This is my telegram channel. You can find my all the entire uh, links of PDFs and all. So here I'll suggest to all of you kindly connect with me here. This is my personal telegram channel and this is a discussion forum where I can find your all the queries and to respond. My Facebook and Instagram social media platform. I'm also available on Facebook page and Instagram and this is a YouTube platform. Those I recommend to all of you to connect me and my all the current updates here. There's a Dr. Ravi Gary's classes of Rick Purvanchala is a YouTube channel. Now my all the classes are available on the Purvanchala IS app. There's a 4,999 only and time to time the prices are going to fluctuate also. So don't forget to join the courses and regarding any kind of queries if you have, so you people can contact on the given number. The courses are available in both English and Hindi medium. Here I cover all the entire six edition book of science and technology. So finally we are here into the discussion of artificial sun experiment as for the for this purposes China has made East as a nuclear fusion reactor. Actually, what is the entire news? You just listen, guys. Uh, East is a kind of what? Its full form is an experimental advanced superconducting tokamak. As I told you, tokamak is a Japanese term. And anywhere if a term tokamak is there, so remember it is a meaning of a fusion reactor. Actually, in this tokamak as a fusion reactor, China made successful a sun-based experiment, but artificially. Okay, actually, you know, the uh, sun-based experiment means is a kind of nuclear fusion experiment. And nuclear fusion have you know a lot of benefit but one of the disadvantages of nuclear fusion is what it is an uncontrolled reactions and this is the reason in this reaction those uh, China has done China has controlled all the entire reactions and successfully made this all nuclear fusion control mechanism what China achieved in this case guys actually uh, normal sun core temperature if you people see so it is around 15 million degrees Celsius. So what is the normal sun core temperature is around 15 million degrees Celsius. What China has did guys here guys, China has maintained 120 million degrees Celsius temperature for 101 second. 101 second means around 1 minute and 41 second. So around 1 minute and 41 second China maintained this, this 120 million degrees Celsius temperature. Those are around 8 times of the sun core temperature. Again I repeat, normal sun core temperature is 15 million degrees Celsius temperature. What China maintained it is 120 million degrees Celsius temperature. So it is around 8 times higher than the sun core temperature. And for how much time China maintained? Again, I repeat, 101 means around 1 minute and 41 seconds. How this whole entire reaction control, it is a really a very difficult task. Those China made it. Okay, so finally, what is here? Everything I'll explain with you. But what is the background of this? So if you people just want to know into the background of East reactor, so you must have to be knowledge of ITER reactor. ITER based three times UPSC asked the question. Two times in the prelims examination, the one time it was in 2007 8 around. Second time the question in the prelims examination around 17 prelims. And one time it was a mains question of around 2008 mains. Okay, 2008 mains. I hope you people know very well the sun, natural sunlight. 
those are coming towards earth it is an example of nuclear fusion okay and here those nuclear fusion experiment we are performing that is called ITER ITER is a name of a reactor and the name of ITER reactor is an international thermonuclear experimental reactor actually EAST EAST reactor those China has made successful it was actually one of the part of ITER reactor okay so first of all I will go into the background of ITER reactor actually ITER is a big level of research that that with the help of many countries in the coming future will run and the year target year is around 2035 and whenever it will run guys in that time it will be the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor okay so actually whatever the china has done as a experimental advanced superconducting tokamak a kind of fusion reactor it was actually a part of iter reactor experiment okay you know actually the iter was came in news first time in 1985 with the help of 35 nations. So, 35 nations have shown the interest in 1985 to develop an artificial sun experiment. Okay, and for that purposes, they have they planned to set up the ITER reactor. And the ITER, as I spoke in you guys, it's the world's largest tokamak. And here we will do the feasibility of nuclear fusion experiment. And the best part of nuclear fusion is what it is totally carbon free. So, in this case, have no, no nuclear uh, waste material generate, as in the case of nuclear fusion is going to be happen. And it is not a kind of uh, carbon emission type of things as it is going to happen in the case of burning of coal so in these all the cases the eater is the best okay actually the eater is what eater is a name of reactor it is a kind of world's largest fusion reactor where we perform the fusion experiment as you know the fusion type of uh, experiments are is uh, even the reaction you can see in the sun and the other stars okay and one thing more guys what is here in this case of ITER reactor those we people will make it successful it is a kind of integrated technology what is the meaning of integrated technology a lot of technologies are required to merge together especially to make the ITER reactor successful this is the reason here guys and see actually the in 2006 there was a news in 2006 there was a news seven nations came together how many nations to total seven nations came together and they have shown an interest okay finally to make the ITER reactor successful and the venues has been decided that is a cadre and the venue has decided that is called cadre so cadre is a small area it is located in the south france so in this south france area cadre there was a decision has been taken we will set up the reactor here guys and total seven nation even in that time the meeting happened in the in the paris else palace area so it was a great news in that time of 2006 okay and total seven nation those even uh, has shown an interest and they make a group especially to develop the ITER reactor by 2035 as full phase reactor will work in that period of time the countries are the China, European Union, India, Japan, South Korea, Russia and US here I just want to tell you guys European Union have a massive contribution in the case of funding so European con European countries have a massive contribution on the basis of funding as it, a new, it is a news guys around 40% of funding that European Union will generate and rest of all the six nations rest of all the six nations 10% each funding they will do this so ultimately what is the India's contribution 10% of whole funding it will be the India's contribution in the case of ITER research and see one thing more I just want to tell you guys this type of experiment are called as a mega research Again, I repeat, this type of experiment is called as a mega research. What is the meaning of mega research? Mega research is generally those kind of the research where, where many countries are working, many technologies are required and a lot of funding are required. And that is the reason for this type of work, guys. Many countries are making a collaborations and then they are trying to make it successful. So just remember, guys, ITER is a kind of mega research, huge investment, huge brain, huge scientist, okay, and huge technology. And that is the reason it made it mega research experiment. This is the tokamak. Tokamak, again I repeat, as it is a Japanese word and in Japan, the meaning of the tokamak is a fusion experiment. You know, in the case of ITER reactor, maximum scientists, those are working, they are Japanese. The reason Japanese scientists are so much advanced in the nuclear fusion experiment. But here I am just showing you the importance of the China ways is. It means China also make it successful in the case of nuclear fusion experiment. Those are very difficult to control guys. So it is an experimental machine okay tokamak that will harness her energy through fusion experiment and see one thing more i will tell you guys actually whatever china has done 
as I told you in the beginning guys, it was a part of ITER reactor. Actually, you know, in the case of ITER reactor, those were run by 2035. In this ITER reactor to make it successful, those seven nation lists you people have seen, China is one of them. So here in this case, what the China, China is doing, even each and every countries are doing various experiments in their own nations. So ultimately, those China has done, it was a part of ITER experiment inside the China. Okay, inside the China and everything, this all the seven nations, those they will do the experiment in their own nation. At last, it will come and assemble to the Cadric and South France area. And here we will try to make success this nuclear fusion experiment. So it is an experimental machine designed to harness the energy of fusion. Okay, and see one thing more, guys. Actually, those tokamak as a reactor. Okay, I'm telling you, East reactor, those China make it successful. Okay, in Hefei province, Hefei is one of the area in China where this reactor even becomes successful okay to perform the nuclear fusion experiment it happy based experiment nuclear fusion experiment a reactor it is it is it is it is one of the three major domestic tokamaks i can repeat it is one of the three major domestic tokamak okay one of the three major domestic tokamak means i just want to tell you actually within the china already nuclear fusion experiment is running now the a reactor and b reactor i'm telling you is already already working and the third reactor as a name of east reactor that is recently installed and it was a news and that's why every newspaper worldwide published even in indian newspaper published china made artificial and china made artificial and actually because of the success of this east experiment okay what is the nuclear fusion i just want to tell you guys nuclear fusion is a kind of reaction where two small size of atom and nuclei where two small size of atom and nuclei fuse together as as you people can see here guys here see hydrogen is one of the atom second side is a hydrogen atom so hydrogen hydrogen fuse together and they form a they form a helium helium in this case those heat are energy generated these heat are energy is what this is the nuclear fusion base heat are energy and this heat are energy we people utilize for electricity generation this one we people use for electricity generation so when a small size of nuclei or atom fuse together and form a large size of atom or nuclei in this process those heat are energy generated that is called nuclear fusion experiment so i hope you people remember what is the nuclear fusion everybody remember this okay guys everybody remember this now we'll come to the next concept next concept is what you just come here guys okay what is the next concept you just come here actually uh, what happened entire in this reactions okay so now see here what china has done in this whole entire experiment that you can see on the screen guys happy as i told you it is the area where all the entire experiment perform later on i'm just telling around 150 million degrees celsius temperature to maintain for 101 for 100, 120 plus around for 101 second was not an easy task okay and here here now the question is how china maintain whole entire experiment and all so here i'm telling you guys with the help of a strong magnetic field with the help of a strong magnetic field okay actually you know what happened in this entire reaction there is something which is very very important okay what is very very important i just want to tell you see guys here in this case actually whenever you people are going to do experiment nuclear fusion experiment so you must have to fuse a small size of atom suppose a small size of atom is a 1s2 plus 1s2 when they fuse together they form a helium helium has a 2 and 4 or plus what is going to generate here heat or energy is going to generate here what is going to generate here heat or energy is going to generate here it is an overall nuclear fusion experiment and just here guys in the case of nuclear fusion experiment you must have to go give some input energy so what we are doing here in here we are going to put the input energy so when some amount of input heat or energy you give here later on here output heat or energy generate later out the output heat or energy generated and this output heat or energy those we are utilizing for power generation this output heat of energy can further use for the breakdown of again the height uh, for the fusion of again hydrogen to synthesize the helium in this case more heat or energy generated so i'm just telling you here in this case actually those heat or energy is going to generate here those reactor has been used inside the reactor inside a reactor actually we maintain the strong magnetic field and due to maintain the strong magnetic field the temperature inside suppose this is a reactor reactor is a kind of nuclear furnace where we are performing the nuclear fusion and fusion reaction in a control manner so i'm just telling you to control the nuclear fusion experiment what china did actually the lower portion inner portion of the reactor here china maintained the strong magnetic field and through the help of a strong magnetic field china even even control the heat type of generation inside a reactor so ultimately you don't go into the more and more technical part you just remember the strong magnetic field was the reason to maintain whole entire nuclear fusion reaction successful here 
if you go into the fusion and fusion guys and here you must you know this is a very very important question for your coming year examination so even i spoke in you earlier videos okay in lesson number 26 you already know very well where i told you about a fusion and fusion comparison in the case of fusion you have seen the heavy nucleus is going to break down heavy nucleus a heavy atom as you people remember the uranium 92 i told you it break in the presence of neutron and then it formed the barium and krypton barium as atomic number 56 krypton as atomic number 36 36 three neutron generate and plus heat are energy generated so three neutron generate plus heat are energy generated okay so ultimately a large size of atom is going to break into a small size of atom you see it 92 break into 56 and 36 in this case those heat are energy generated is called fusion energy fusion by what you have seen the two light size we you just have to seen 1 s2 plus 1 s2 yeah 1 s3 these are hydrogen isotopes when they will fuse together they form helium they form helium and in this case have also the heat are energy generated in this case have also the heat are energy generated that is a kind of fusion energy Okay, in nuclear fusion even involve the kind of chain reaction that I already have shown it, but it does not in, does not involve the kind of chain reaction, and that is the reason, guys. When the atom bomb drop in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, first time the heat or energies are less. After some time the heat energy more times, and then the next after some time more and more times. Then the something something more and more times. Ultimately, it is because of the chain reaction performed, and the rate of breakdown of uranium becomes so much fast in every next step. Even here, the heavy nucleus bombarding on the new uh, bombing neutron we are doing. See, neutron bombarding we are doing here. In this case, the such type of neutron bombarding we are not doing here. It is a kind of control fusion reaction is possible, but it is not easy to control mechanism, guys, and not in the place. And that is a that is a dangerous in the case of nuclear fusion only. Even uh, nuclear fusion only. Nuclear fusion it generates a nuclear waste, and that is the reason, guys. Nuclear waste are dangerous for us. Reason nuclear waste have a lot of radioactive element, and that is the reason wherever we are performing the nuclear fusion reaction for power generation with the help of various reactor we must have to install the reprocessing plant also what is the contribution of reprocessing plant reprocessing plant are those areas where we are doing the recycling of the nuclear waste and that is the reason those nuclear waste generate from the nuclear fusion reaction ultimately we decompose them okay we recycle them not decompose recycle them and that is the reason it will not become more and more dangerous another side case the raw material raw material in the case of nuclear fusion that we people are using it is easily available why because the raw material in the case of nuclear fusion is what that is uranium and you guys know very well many countries uranium available maximum uranium in the australia 33 percent of world uranium is only in australia second ranking is kazakhstan around 12 percent of world uranium and third rank is canada around nine percent of world uranium so ultimately you all people know very well this type of raw materials are easily available but nuclear fusion raw material uh, raw material is actually it is also is level but comparatively more and more cheap because hydrogen isotope is the what it is the, it is a source from the from the water we can generate it so sources raw material easily available in both two cases but uranium is very costly and yeah this is comparatively very very cheap in the case of nuclear fusion here i just shown you guys it's a kind of nuclear fusion reaction here the neutron bombarding we are doing with the uranium 235 cesium rubidium even lot of reaction neutron emit and this is the heat or energy and this heat or energy we are utilizing for power generation another side this is deuterium this is tritium and deuterium and tritium is a what 1s2 plus 1s3 this is a hydrogen isotope when they fuse together they form helium helium 2hg4 and plus what is there neutron is going to generate and ultimately here again have a heat or energy this heat or energy you can use for electricity generation this heat or energy if you control the nuclear fusion reaction you can also utilize for power generation um, now the question is why nuclear fusion is very very important very simple guys even guys nuclear fusion those we are using for the power generation in the nuclear reactor they are creating nuclear waste but nuclear fusion is what they are not creating nuclear waste even they are carbon free in that case is no emission of greenhouse effect and all another guys once once nuclear fusion could potentially provide the unlimited clean energy as very low cost so ultimately the nuclear fusion those we are using in this case if we become successful so here the heat energies are possible to generate infinite and the heat we are using for what heat we people are using for for the steam generation and because of steam what happened you already have seen in the previous video i discovered with you 
turbine when the turbine is start to move what will come there mechanical energy and one of the instrument i hope you guys know very well that is called dynamo and what is the use of dynamo dynamo convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy so dynamo used to convert utilize the mechanical energy into electrical energy so this is the whole entire process you people remember it so in that way guys nuclear fusion really a wonderful experiment if you will make it successful in the case of iter experiment and whatever the china has done in the case of east reactor means experimental advanced superconducting tokamak so definitely is a very great uh, even the experiment and definitely this type of experiment one day it will be beneficial for the human kind and all those countries are suffering with the power crisis okay and even india is also one of the beneficial due to the success of the nuclear fusion experiment in the coming future so this is the overall as a statement of the nuclear fusion concept and all and at last i'll tell you guys uh, regarding my all the pdfs and my all the video links you people stay tuned with me on the telegram channel so don't miss to connect with me on the telegram this is a one stop solution to everyone my facebook page and instagram you can also connect with me regarding all the social media updates and this is my youtube channel those who people don't forget to connect here uh, my courses of uh, 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 all the all the uh, all the courses of a various subject of science and tech, environment agriculture biology you people can connect on the provincialize app uh, so don't forget to download this application those guys are listing my videos so kindly download this app in the coming future this all the this this app will be very very important and regarding the courses you can contact on the given numbers regarding my face to face classes at providing in the provincialize as gorapur you people can also connect with me here at Gorakhpur and here Delhi is all the faculties are taking the classes for those purposes you are going to Delhi and you are wasting the lot and a lot of money here I am providing the sustainable education at Gorakhpur with all the Delhi based team under my mentorship where I am providing you all the all the all the content series everything whatever you want every facility is available at one place this is my book of six edition is available right now in the market don't miss to read guys as it is a highly selling book in the India right now and my courses are available on the Provencial IS app. So kindly scan this QR code and go on the applications and download it and listen my all the classes. And time to time the prices are going to fluctuate also. So thank you everyone. Kindly subscribe the channel and download this uh, uh, PDFs from the from my Telegram group and like and share this video. And don't forget to use this bell icon for the future notification. So thank you everyone. I hope you will enjoy a lot. Coming future some new videos I'll make for all of you. Stay tuned with me on the this YouTube channel for the all the recent update and regarding my classes only one solution is the Purvanchal IS application. So thank you everyone. God bless you. Meet you soon in the next class. Thank you. Jai Hind. Purvanchal IAS, Bharat mein civil seva mein sarvadik selection dilane wale Dr. Ravi Agrahari and team ab Gorakpur mein bhi. Purvanchal IAS, Pedle Ganj, Indranagar, Gorakpur.